I'm Rector Vallum. And Reese Warren. We are the two hosts of The Artist Project, and today we are interviewing Alina Starboy. Zollipops is an all-natural, sugar-free lollipop that actually cleans your teeth. Zollipops are all-natural lollipops that reduce the risk of tooth decay. She's the youngest person to ever land the cover of Entrepreneur Magazine. This girl is absolutely amazing. My name's Lena Morse. I'm 14 years old. I'm the CEO of Zolly Candy, and this is my hustle. I'm great. How are you? Pretty fantastic. Good. Awesome. So, let's begin with questions. How did you, when did you start your business? So I came up with the idea for Zolly Candy, the clean teeth candy, when I was seven years old. Um, I was on a trip to the bank with my dad and the bank teller offered me a lollipop. And my dad told me, you know, you shouldn't have candy because sugar is terrible for your teeth. So I asked him, well, why can't we make a healthy lollipop that's good for my teeth so that I could have candy and it wouldn't be bad for me. And then after about two years of research and plant trials and lots of taste testing, we finally created Zolly Pops. That's absolutely amazing. When did you start learning about the financial and getting into like the comics and all that? Well, I kind of learned along the way. Um, obviously, I was so young, I hadn't gone to business school. I wasn't even done with elementary school. So it was, it was a learning experience for me, um, and it still is. Every single day, I'm always learning new stuff. But really kind of, my dad, uh, who's who's a big mentor of mine, and our team members, um, really, you know, taught me and and mentored me uh, in in what they they do for the business. So, you know, for example, our accountant Larry, he taught me a lot about you know processing orders and you know how how the finances of the business um, really come together because you know he went to school for that and you know, he's, he's pretty much an expert on that. And I, I, I don't really know much about it. I'm, I'm in high school math. So that's, that's pretty much uh, kind of how I, how I learn. You know, I learn from my team members and I learn from, from my mentors. Um, and I learn from, from other people, you know, just on the street teaching me, you know, like, well, not necessarily on the street, but like, you know what I mean? Other people, you know, trying to, trying to share with me, you know, life advice, life lessons. That's all super valuable information. Absolutely. And how has your business helped you grow as a person? Well, my business has honestly really kind of developed my, my personality in a sense, um, as well as, you know, kind of not necessarily, uh, my work habits, but kind of the way I go about um, living my life. I think about, you know, if I have a, for example, if I have a choice to make, I think about, you know, what is the most valuable, um, the most valuable use of my time, um, what will help me the most in the long run. Um, and, you know, when I meet people, it's all about making connections, you know. Um, you know, when can I, when can I have a meeting with this person? Um, what can they teach me? What can I teach them? So I guess just kind of being in the adult world uh, has given me a different outlook on life um, because, you know, as a kid in a, in a mostly adult industry, well, probably actually entirely adult industry, um, it's very interesting uh, to learn from the people that have been in the, the candy industry and the business world for, for 70 years. This is their family company and they, they were born into this. And, you know, I'm just, I'm 14 years, well, 15, I'm 15. And I feel like I'm, I'm learning so much at such a young age about like business, but also like life. Absolutely. You, you touched on like how you focus on things that are the most valuable use of your time and what helps you in the long run. How do you keep yourself from getting distracted and you keep doing these productive things? How do you do that? Well, I used to, you know, be quite a procrastinator, but I think over time I've, <laughs> I've tried to uh, really work on that, especially because I have so much to do every single day. Um, you know, schoolwork, dance, regular work, um, and I always, you know, try and do some fun stuff to, to remind myself that I'm still a kid. Um, and so, you know, stuff, stuff like that, you know, is all, all stuff that I've decided that I want to spend my time doing. 
but you know there are there are choices to be made you know i have a school dance coming up for example but i also have a business trip so what is what is my choice um well depending on the importance of the business trip you know i either of course if it's super important or you know important i'll go and i have to miss out but that's okay because you know it'll help me in the long run and if it's not you know super important and they don't really need me there i trust my team you know they do amazing work they do a great job and you know they're some of the people that taught me um you know how how to how to sell products how to you know to conduct yourself during these meetings and you know they're they're amazing team members and i completely trust them to you know go do go do the meeting by themselves it doesn't it doesn't it's honestly business is not about uh doing it all yourself um and trying to take on as much as you can and do everything that you can it's about delegating um and i feel like i've definitely learned that over over time um just from a business aspect like as a ceo um you have like certain responsibilities but really personally i don't think of it as like a a hierarchy where you know ceo has like the be- the biggest job or or things like that but whereas you know we're all equal employees and we're all working towards a common goal we're just better at different things and so kind of as a ceo where you have so many different jobs and you fit into so many different boxes and categories you really have to delegate out to people um because that's what they're good at. You have to let them be be good at what they're good at. I just learned a lot. I just learned a lot about being this and that. And you're 15 now. Um, when was your birthday and what did you do for your birthday? So my birthday was May 8th and I had a lot of fun. I was I was really lucky that I felt like, you know, for moments I forgot my birthday was, you know, in quarantine. Cuz I was having so much fun hanging out with my friends. Also it gave me like a new outlook on birthdays. I feel like even even myself kids in general, you know, I think you know they have the kind of that they get excited about gifts, they get excited about presents and sometimes you can get wrapped up in it. <laughs> no pun intended, you know, you wrap gifts. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's anyways. That's so funny about the <laughs> Sorry about yeah, but like, yeah, you know, you can get wrapped up in kind of the the gifts and and the presents and 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 really kind of I guess not being able to see my friends in person um and not being able to spend time with my family in person really made me appreciate spending time with them um and spending time with you know even my my immediate family in my house. Um it really just made me appreciate, you know, first of all how much effort my family put into making my birthday special um and then also you know being able to to talk to my friends and and communicate with them even though you know I can't see them it really you know made me way more appreciative of of those relationships so i had lots of fun i had some zoom parties um uh, with my my dance friends and my school friends and we put a sign outside my house uh that said um Alina's 15 honk to wish her a happy birthday and so we got people honking their horns outside our house all day which was really fun but yeah you know it was a great day and I'm glad I got to spend it with with such amazing people That's actually really cool the whole Alina 15 honk oh that's gosh, actually really cool Oh my gosh that is actually yeah Um and you for you got signed up with a charity um yes. for your birthday Shark Allies what do they do and how can we help Yeah so Shark Allies um they you know they advocate for the ocean and the sharks because you know obviously they can't advocate for themselves and you know with all the trash getting dumped in the ocean and you know the pollution as well as you know um people killing sharks and sharks are so important to the ecosystem um and without them you know the the underwater ecosystem doesn't work. You know, there's too much of one kind of fish. There's not enough of another. Um and you know, it just it really doesn't work without them and they're dying. And that's really really sad. Um I'm a huge advocate for the ocean. I'm a surfer. So, I love the ocean and I'm a huge recycler. Uh my family 
can advocate for this um, and they can they can vouch for me they, they they get irritated with how much I how much I recycle sometimes they'll try and throw something away. I'm like oh no that's recyclable you yell at your family like, nope wrong one yeah plan it and then they get frustrated when I forget to take the recycling to the curb on like trash days <laughs> but they're like Alina if you got to take over the recycling if you're gonna yell at us <laughs> I'm like okay I got it because you know it's just something that um, I'm passionate about and I'm so happy that that I can um, donate my birthday to shark allies um, because you know it's something that that I really believe in and so please check out um, facebook.com slash Zolly candy uh, you'll see the big the big shark banner I promise you won't miss it um, and you can actually donate uh, to help us reach our goal of $350 raise in to raise for Shark Allies. Um. Life on our planet is ruled by the oceans. And healthy oceans need sharks. Without them, the complex marine ecosystem cannot remain in balance. Sharks keep fish populations healthy by removing the slow and the weak. They are the white blood cells of the ocean. They have been around for millions and millions of years. And now, humanity is rapidly pushing them to the brink of extinction. With your help, we can continue the fight for these magnificent guardians of the ocean. We're not only helping to keep the sharks happy and smiling, we're also, you know, helping people stay smiling too. Um, for so next month in June, we're super excited. We're going to be working with um, the Artist Project again to have people for June birthdays donate their birthday to our nonprofit, the Million Smiles Initiative, where we keep all of our friends on land smiling um, by giving free Zolly Pops uh, to kids through schools across America to teach them about the importance of oral health care and entrepreneurship um, and just, you know, the overall message of taking care of your health uh, because really a lot of your a lot of your, you know, your entire body health, it all starts in your mouth. Hi, I'm Alina Morris, the creator of Zolly Pops. Our mission is to help reduce tooth decay in kids across the world. We do that by giving one million Zolly Pops to schools and teaching kids the importance of oral health. Smiles have amazing powers, and we are here to protect them. Have your teachers sign up at zollipops.com under the One Million Smiles tab to get free Zollipops for your school and help us reach our goal of One Million Smiles. Keep smiling! keep people smiling we want to protect their smiles and you know we want to teach kids that they can do anything just like you guys you know we're all doing great things and you know it's important to relate to to other kids that may not have the same opportunities as us um, that they can do anything uh, that they put their mind to so you know I think that's a really important message and I'm so happy um, that people can donate their birthdays to like I did to Shark Allies, um, they can donate their June birthdays to uh, the Million Smiles Initiative. You've got a really good head on your shoulders. Very smart human being here. Um, anyway, if, what you do? What do you do for fun? Well, um, um, <laughs> well, I surf, which is fun. I can't do that right now, unfortunately, because I don't live in the ocean, but. You know, we have Michigan lakes, we have lots of lakes, and we have a boat, so we can we can surf off the back of that, which is pretty fun. Um, and we're just hoping for it to get a little bit warmer so that we can do some stuff outside. It's like 40 degrees today, so... 
a little bit of a bummer, but you know, it's 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 okay. We're gonna we're gonna be all good. Um, send over some some warm weather. We need it. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess we have to do that, or just go to Hawaii. I miss Hawaii. Hawaii. Hey, take this warm weather. There's yeah, you guys hot. you guys got some to spare. <laughs> I actually it's I agree so with you. Right? Actually, maybe it'll snow one day, one day. Can and we have some cold one. weather? Please. Yes. Yes, you can have it all, actually. Oh, uh, that may be a little much. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much, Olivia. Thank you for coming out and doing this. We're glad we just brushed our allies and then we can and get that out there. Especially with the artist project, we're glad we can be a part of it. And uh, happy 15th birthday, and it's a day late, but yeah. So. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. So Thank everyone you. watching, thanks guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Favorite movie? Fight Club. Actor? Brad Pitt. Music? Alan Raymond. Do you have any siblings? Two sisters. And color? Green. Nice. Green is great, by the way. <laughs>